Okay guys, we're going to do a little video just to kind of bring you up to speed and draw everybody's attention to some things um, that look like they're staging of the event. And I mean the event. Um, you know, we all know that something's about to happen. We all know that, you know, there's going to be a false flag event, uh, Jesus coming with it simultaneously. We know there's going to be a missile attack. We know these things. Uh, many of God's prophets and watchmen have had the exact same message from disparate sources. And it even happened in a way that when I was here with Clay and, and I, I received my message from the Lord, I said it out loud in front of Clay and I said, and other watchmen will receive the same message right after we do, do this video and that happened correctly yes and we'll edit in those real quick the reason we're bringing this next video to your attention is because i believe it's imminently at the door i mean very very close and we want to show you something hoover dam has something to do with the birthing the birthing and the awakening of this ancient evil because it's shaped like a female reproductive system. It's got the image of the guy that's holding the two different seeds, the wheat and the weeds, and they come down into the female reproductive system and it forms a new race of beings being birthed into water. It's the wheat and the weeds, and they come down into the female reproductive system and it forms a new race of beings being birthed into water, okay? But, so the thing is, there's all these very strange anomalies coming out right now in, you know, uh, the movie, uh, new game Halo? Is that it, Clay? Halo 4. Yeah. yeah, Halo 4. And everybody knows that I've shown you that the, everything's half black, half white. You know, sheep and goat, wheat and weed. And, you know, the Twin Towers were a representation of the two, you know, the let's say the sheep and the goat put together, but now they're destroyed and now there's the One World Freedom Tower, which represents one DNA being put together to house this ancient evil. Okay, so that, that's basically it. We're getting down to the wire of the birth of the new race of beings that's going to run this planet, the New World Order. There's some stuff that's come to light that's just fascinating. Um, just it's it's so amazing just to watch how the devil uses humans to produce games, video games, movies, just to show what he's doing, and he uses us like puppets. So we're gonna do the best video we can, and we're gonna show you guys um, how it's really in our face right now, and they're. They're really pushing the agenda for the birthing of the new race, and um, uh, and it centers around the Hoover Dam. And we're going to start this. I want to start. I told Clay start this with the Just a Messenger series I did in 2000, and I first uttered it in 2007, and came public in 2008. And in that utterance, we're going to show you the original utterance. And then Clay is going to show you uh, uh, an edited rendition that Clay did a great job on. I think it's in the Destruction of America DVD. And we're going to put that in. Then we're going to add together all these video games that are coming out. And you, you just, you got to see what's going on. So we're just trying to encourage you to, so you can see the evolution, the evolution of this race of beings and how they're staging it to take over. And they're putting it in the music. I mean, you saw Rihanna coming down in the Efta, you know, from Zachariah, the fire offering. And we got to see at the Paralympics, it was a missile coming in, splitting the water. And so we see all these things. They're just telegraphing their plans right in front of us. Officer piloting the boat, we have 
six non qual spreading between weapons and engineering. Maybe we can run, maybe we can fight, but we sure as Shinola cannot run and fight. Thank you, Master Chief, that'll be all. Hope you folks brought your water wings. That will be all, Cobb. Grace, you can stand on that con till the rapture comes. Still don't make you my captain. Flip a dial, instant entertainment. Dial seven. They're just telegraphing their plans right in front of us. And I want to encourage everybody in the name of Jesus. Look, here's what Jesus told me. This is a personal communique. Um, during the show the other night on Justin TV, I prayed and I said, Lord, you promised me some things. And during the show, you, you said you'd show me that our time to leave is imminent. Is, it, is that what I said? Yes. And while I was sitting here, I was holding this, the thorus, and I opened it up, and it said, guaranteed, and then I turned the page, and it said, departure, point of departure, time to leave. Now, you do what you want with that, but if you're sitting here holding a big, thick book, while you said the Lord was going to show it during that particular broadcast and all of a sudden it's like uh, affirmation and then departure that's the best I can show you but um, I want you to know that the Lord has just been constantly speaking to me today saying the finish line is directly in front of y'all doesn't I don't know if that means you know next week next month Christmas but it doesn't matter now. If we know it's in front of us, enjoy every day now. You know what I mean? Just enjoy your day. Go out. Praise God. Thank God. Did you eat a cheeseburger? Was it good? Enjoy it. Thank God for it. Because it's going to be one of your last. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy it and just give thanks to God and glory to God. And let people see your light that you're not afraid. Okay? And then maybe pass out some DVDs or point them to the radio shows or whatever. But Clay's going to put together a pretty wild video for you guys. So you guys can see how they are just shoving it in our face like a pie. And that's where Clay's going to come in and do that. Anything you want to say, Clay? Uh, a lot of credit goes to... Dave for showing us. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, Dave Shadow. Yeah. He uh, he came across a lot of this Halo information, and, and I'll, we'll put it in here. The most compelling thing to me is the fact that the Halo game has nothing to do with planet Earth, and yet their commercial that just came out a few days ago shows the Hoover Dam with their main bad guy logo on it, and no Halo fanboys, no kids that play the game have any explanation why, and that is a huge tell. Like Jonathan said, yeah. pie in the face. Yeah, there's there's there it's totally disparate source it's a it's a disconnect yeah what does the hoover dam have to do with halo nothing and by the way if you look at the landscape you know the, the way the picture's taken obama is standing in front of the hoover dam in exactly the same landscape as this thing on on halo in front of the hoover dam and the image turns upside down and the clouds change to the same color clouds on the $50 bill. And Clay is going to edit all that in. It's going to be mind blowing. <laughs> it's freaking insane, you guys. But it's real. It's the real deal. So, anyway, we love you. I am feeling much better, you guys. I uh, went through seven days of absolute torture. But anyway, uh, we'll see what happens on Wednesday. All right, take care, guys. Images of bombings on only the two $20 bills. That's only the $20 bills. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prophesy for you. The Lord has poured this prophecy into me. And after I prophesy, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to show you what those words mean. And it's just fascinating. So let me just take a moment and pray, Lord. I pray that you'll just speak those words through me again so that these people can hear it and understand and I'm praying that you give everybody that watches this video the eyes to see and the heart to understand and the ears to hear. So thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. 
Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. And behold, the great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it. For mighty is your enemy that is risen from within your own borders. Now behold the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you. You are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen and have you not heard and has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? For when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, they did bear children to them. And the same became mighty men. And has not the sea turned mighty? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes. And the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. And behold, the man of peace shall come forth from the sea. Barack Hussein Obama. And with words of peace, he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold the fig tree. It puts forth its leaves and suddenly the time is upon you. The travail begins and a holy nation is to be born. And it will not stop until that nation is brought forth. This is an appeal from God. It's very serious stuff. Um, a time of travail is coming. Um, the Bible talks about, you know, once the birth pains begin, that's it. It's just like a woman going into travail when she her birth pains begin. It doesn't stop until the child is born. Well, a holy nation is about to be born, and that's what this is all about. And it's an appeal from God to you to turn to Jesus Christ. Now we're going to take a little break. I'm going to collect. Again, we want to give credit where credit is due. And um, October and Flames had sent this video to me on the 24th, October 24th. absolutely no way I would have found this and I don't know how he found this clip of this Hoover Dam that you just saw it's absolutely the most bizarre clip it's not even linked to Halo in the video you only can tell by the hashtag at the end that says an ancient evil awakens and the logo is recognizable I guess from Halo players to be the Didact logo and that it's no uh, notable that whenever that logo turns upside down that means that the Didact's force has been unleashed. I don't really know what that means. So I started to do some research uh, on the legends and lore of Halo. I, it's the one game I never played. I don't know why. So I started reading about it and it's just unbelievable. <laughs> There's so much uh, tucked into this. You can obviously tell that the people that wrote the story to this, their muse was not their own imagination and a lot of the times these people think they get these creative uh, influxes of thoughts and it's the enemy whispering in their ears and they they, they think that it's their own idea and it's just not. Just go read about Stephanie Meyer's testimony about uh, how she wrote uh, Twilight and you'll see that she carried a notepad around with her throughout the day because she was hearing the characters talking to her while she was just trying to go about her normal everyday business. So there was some external voice telling her and, and the characters were speaking in her mind and she just had to write them down to keep up with them. Uh, by the way, uh, Canada is just absolutely rattling off the cages with earthquakes right now. There was a 7-1 and there's been about 5 or 6, 4.8 to 5.0s, just a mental note. Um, not really sure why it's going on, but it's my phone is vibrating every 10 seconds with a 5-pointer. Uh, just wanted to document that. So thank you October and Flames for sharing this. Uh, the clip has 36,000 views in a matter of you know three or four days, and this is the only video this person's put up on his channel and nothing to do with Halo. We've got the nice logo turning upside down. Before the you know ancient evil awakens and it cuts away, the sky turns pink. And just look at this image of the new 50, the one that doesn't have the line um, holding back the water that fits in with the uh, prophetic utterance um, that Jonathan received. 
this is the one where the water's flowing and it's pink behind it. And it's got these 50s in the air, like little particles, like maybe some kind of a harp attack or that's just explosive residue, whatever that's supposed to represent. It's, it's, a, it's a notable difference from the old 50. There's pink and that the water is now flowing and you can see the water marks on the bill whenever you look at it through various resolutions. No alterations to the bill, you just look at it in a Photoshop program. You can see these various uh, watermarks that when they're played like an animation, it's like water flowing. Much like on the, the 20 with the Twin Towers, an explosion. federal building it definitely looks like a con concussive blast that is tucked into these watermarks and so this begs the question how can a human do this how can humans know what a building's going to look like after it blows up how you know where the planes are going to hit unless it's all staged and it's all spiritually carried out and the enemy shows us what they're going to do just like they did in all the movies uh, before 9-11, for a decade or so, they were showing that September 11th, there's going to be some major attack. They were going to blame it on the Muslims. And they even gave a death count in one movie. They said 4,000 people. How are you going to kill 4,000 people and get away with it? And they're like, blame it on the Muslims. And that that would instill this fear in the nation so that that would increase their defense budget. And that's exactly what happened. You can chalk that up to coincidence, or you can open your eyes and understand that there was more to that attack than meets the eye. Gain. The Cold War is over, John. But with no clear enemy to stockpile against, the arms market's flat. But bring down a fully loaded 727 into the middle of New York City, and you'll find a dozen tin pot dictators all over the world just clamoring to take responsibility and begging to be smart bombed. Corner of Liberty in Washington, lower Manhattan. World Trade Center. I'm going to crash the plane into the World Trade Center. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours. Because you're operating from a place of ignorance. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. World Trade Center bombing, remember? You're telling me that you're going to fake some terrorist thing just to get some money out of Congress? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Hennessy, I have no idea how to fake killing 4,000 people. So we're just going to have to do it for real. Oh, blame it on the Muslims, naturally. <laughs> then we have Obama talking about the Hoover Dam being unleashed. Remember that video we did? That's the only video that I know of, of Jonathan's that's got taken down. I tried to go back and download the clip, and that video was taken down. And, and our willingness to do the things that built the Golden Gate Bridge and Hoover Dam and unleashed all the potential in this country. Not sure why. It didn't really say why. I don't think there was any copyright issues with it. It was just taken down. We have the connections with uh, Madonna, you know, at the Super Bowl. We saw the all-seeing eye from the Super Bowl earlier. They also had the Destroyer, you know, the winged planet in the Super Bowl halftime show, and this is what she came out on this throne, sitting in this birthing position um, in a chair that's shaped identically to the Hoover Dam. And she's doing her ISIS poses and 
Statue of Liberty, all that stuff. It's going to symbolize the birth of the new race. And there she is, uh, doing the same pose as this uh, goddess. It's just this mother, you know, mother goddess worship, queen of heaven worship. This is the birthing pose. And see how she's got serpents on her hands. Uh, this iteration of the queen of heaven, you know, mother goddess, her name is Pachamama. And, you know, she's got this half black, half white going on here. So the connection with the Hoover Dam and Halo and the birth and the Antichrist and Obama and the half and half paradigm and the $50 bill and the fake bombings on the other bills, it's all connected. It's all one thread and hopefully this video is tying it together in some succinct way. I pray that it does. There's a lot of information here, but the main thing to take from this video is that Halo has nothing to do with the Hoover Dam. Obama visits the Hoover Dam a year after he says the Hoover Dam unleashed in that one interview where it says The Great Destroyer. Someone's talking about their book called The Great Destroyer, talking about Obama. He says the Hoover Dam, Hoover Dam. unleashed all the potential. Unleashed all the potential. Kind of cryptically said it. Now we've got this Didac symbol on the Hoover Dam with the sky turning pinkish orange, just like the $50 bill. The Didact in the Halo world, he is this ancient race of aliens that supposedly created humans, called like the Prometheans, just like that movie that came out, Prometheus, where we saw the alien drink from the cup and then it, his DNA dissolved into the water, and that is apparently why they created humans. And spoiler alert, by the way, the reason they say they created humans was because they wanted to, because they could, and to turn us into weapons, to fit extensions, to turn the human temple into a weapon. The abomination of desolation that Jonathan just spoke about from the prophetic utterance of 2007 and 2008, the Lord revealed to him the abomination of desolation that Daniel was talking about is the temple, the human temple. Jesus came and rebuilt the temple in three days, not a building. Could they do some abominable sacrifice in a building that the that they rebuild in Jerusalem? Sure. Is that a spiritually significant event? I don't think so. I think it's a deception and a distraction. I think the most significant spiritual connotation to the abomination of desolation being the temple cannot house the Holy Spirit once you take the mark of the beast. That'll be the final stamp, the final I accept the black side of the white. That's why it says they will worship the image of the beast. We were created in the image of God. What is the image of Lucifer? It's this DNA mark. It's a stamp. And this story talks about that. This is from Halopedia. It's their Wikipedia. It says, with the mutation, the didact transferred his consciousness along with all of his memories and knowledge to Bornstella, although they would not awaken within the manipulator until later on. It goes on to say that Sharam Hakor stirred up the ancient memories which had been imprinted in their genetic material by the librarian. The librarian is the female goddess character. She's the queen of heaven, the wife to the didact, who's the Antichrist. So there's, they're hinting in this game that there's some genetic code that's been tucked away that's going to be unleashed. And when the enemy flips their switch and the hive mind gets flipped on, there's something that's lying in wait that's going to just zoom, and then zombie eyes. People are going to worship the Antichrist and they're not going to know why. They're going to see a picture of him on TV. They're going to read him out on the internet. They're going to go to all the conventions. They're just going to worship this guy. And it's going to be even that much more during the tribulation. He's going to demand worship. And it's not necessarily going to be bowing down before the gold chef, a gold statue. But it's going to be a living sacrifice, a living worship, just like we are to be living sacrifices for the Lord. They're going to be a living, walking, abominable sacrifice to Satan because the flesh, once you take the mark, is absolutely cut off from God.
logo for the UNSC, the United Nations Space Command for Halo. It's a half triangle, half white, half black with a circle in the middle. I wish I was making this up, but I'm not. So here's Halo. We've got the same agenda like we saw in the Call of Duty video games, the triangle with the eye. It's on the back of your money. It's everywhere. I found this interesting. I was reading uh, the, the Wikipedia on Halo and the didact tucked away the genetic material of his children in these war sphinxes containing the last essences of the didact's children and they were able to get the DNA and recreate things just like we're seeing with Akhenaten and Nefertiti and his kids. Why else would it be so important for the Egyptians to preserve genetic material with embalming and all the different procedures? All you need is one strand of hair, one follicle, one skin cell, and you can, uh, you can clone a human. Because I believe it's imminently at the door, I mean very, very close. And we want to show you something. Hoover Dam has something to do with the birthing, the birthing, and the awakening of this ancient evil. Because it's shaped like a female reproductive system. It's got the image of the guy that's holding the two different seeds, the wheat and the weeds. And they come down into the female reproductive system and it forms a new race of beings being birthed into water. And I was born, of course, in Hawaii. This is a quote about the didact. And it says, the peaceful one is at war without and within. So they're already hinting at some kind of internal struggle. And I want to thank... I want to thank KuziMaloozer777. I hope I'm saying that name right, buddy. Uh, he sent me the Halo video before the, the, the Halo Hoover Dam video. And he said, dude, check this out. It says, an ancient evil awakes awakens on 11-6-2012. Well, 11-6 upside down is 9-11. That's also the election day. Um, and he says, this is the first one I've ever found on my own. I'm pumped. And I was like, oh my goodness. And it shows, I'll play the commercial for you, but it, essentially what it shows is them taking a kid, replacing it with a lookalike, and then messing with the DNA. And then that's the ancient evil being released inside the people. Alright, you want the kicker on the didact? Everyone remember Lord of the Rings, the Ur-Ukai? They were the half-orc, half-humans, and they were the super strong Nephilim race of the Lord of the Rings world. Well, the Ur-Didact is a physically imposing presence. He stood approximately twice a manipulator's height, and weighed four or five times as much, and had massive, heavily muscled limbs, and hands with six digits. Alright, they're busted. That's, uh, this is after the flood, this is 2 Samuel 21:20. 20. 
this is Jonathan who went to war against this Nephilim. They survived, guys. And there was again war at Gath, where there was a man of great stature who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot, twenty-four in number, and he also was descended from the giants. So does that mean there was a second incursion? There was another Enoch, there was another Mount Hermon situation where the fallen angels came back down and bred with human women? Or did someone survive on the ark? All we know is that Noah was pure in his generation, so we can assume that his sons were. Um, we don't know about his sons' wives. Maybe the whole purpose of the flood, obviously, was Lord. the Lord could not contend with the flesh anymore because it was perpetually thinking about sin. It was a genetic issue. The Play-Doh was totally messed up. He had to do a clean slate, and perhaps he just had to hit the reset button and take it from 99% corruption back down to 0.1%, whatever. We don't know about the numbers. That's not important. But we know that there is an infection and it survived because the scriptures tell us also afterward um, the Nephilim were there. And uh, Joshua and, and the, you know, the tribes of Israel, they failed to completely eradicate. They didn't do it. They didn't obey the Lord. And now we see the problems with this new world order and the families that are running the show. They trace back to these very specific tribes that God told them to wipe out. So the tribes would have been eliminated if they obeyed him. But the Lord allows these things to happen, we know, so that his ultimate will can come to fruition and he can even let the enemy do his worst and he's still gonna win. To show his glory, that's how he gets glory. He picks really small weird people to do really cool stuff and he lets the bad guys get super strong and fast and then he beats them up. It's just kind of kind of his thing. So this is a, to this is a total bust on Halo 4. The game comes out on election day and Ancient Evil Awakes, we've got the orange sky. We've got this commercial where they're taking the kids and messing with their DNA. There's a, a, a peace, a peaceful war within and without, and it causes chaos. Uh, the prophetic utterance um, is the one thing you can hold Jonathan to, and he'll he'll say that. I hope I'm not assuming too much. You know, I mean, 11, 11, 11, that's like, uh, you know, putting a big pot of honey in front of a grizzly bear. You think he's going to go for it? I mean, I don't think they can help themselves. But I have to give you guys this information. It's too conspicuous. So, do what you want. One the time. Team, those bombings are on the way. They're going to happen, and they're going to happen soon. And I'm, I'm going to show you when I think they're going to happen. And you guys can, you know, throw rocks at me. You see, I even knew when I said it. I said, I'm going to show you when I think they're going to happen. Is that, is that prophesying something? Now, a lot of people have said, you know, um, hey, you know, when 11, 11, 11 comes and goes, are you going to admit you're a false prophet? And I went, wow, guys, I'm going to say this so you understand this. I never said, I guarantee you, 11, 11, 11 is going to be the attack and the birthing of the new world order. However, I truly believe 11, 11, 11 is going to be a very serious day. People say that he prophesied 11, 11, 11 was Hoover Dam. It's not true. And if that video wasn't taken down, you would see the evidence that showed he was saying, hey, maybe, or it looks like it, or, you know, the, with the crystal skull thing and all the new age indicators pointing at 11-11, it's a day to watch, but he'd never prophesied. The only prophecy, the only prophecy he was ever given, as far as I know, it was 2007, 2008, and that was what you just saw, and now we're going to see it set to what we think it might represent now. It was given back then, and now we're seeing it come to life. Literally, it's coming to life, and from what I understand, it's all going to happen. Hoover Dam, missiles, catching away, nuclear, the hand of the oppressor against you. It's going to just go so fast. That's just the way I interpret those words. A few more things about Halo, and the main character, like I said, he's a clone. So he has like a, you know, a standard name and a number. His name is John 117. Now remember the, the main and bad guy aliens are called the Covenant. So this is the humans raging against the Covenant. 
well, it just so happens that John 117, <laughs> and this is just cool. John 1 verse 17, as far as I know, is the only uh, single verse that contains both covenants in it. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. How cool is that? So John 1.17, this clone Spartan soldier, is warring against the covenant. He's, the most, he's one of the most important heroes of the UNSC during the Human Covenant War. <laughs> Alright. Again, coincidence, six fingers, Nephilim, Didact, Upside Down, Ancient Evil, Unleashed, Hoover Dam, John 117, Half Black, Half White, Triangle, Madonna, Birth, Looks Like the Dam, She's Doing the Birth Pose, The Wheat and the Tares, The Guy, this is a, this is a monument at the Hoover Dam, The Guy with the Two Wheat and the Tares, and they were clearly different types of grain and it comes down into his body, it's the same shape as two fallopian tubes going into the, the womb and the cervix and then the birth canal. It's the same shape as the dam itself. Is this going to be the end of the world when the Hoover Dam blows up? No. Millions will be without power. It's gonna flood a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna die. It's gonna be a tragedy. Maybe 200,000, 300,000, it's gonna be horrible. 50,000, I don't know. It's gonna be bad. But for them, it symbolizes, it's like a huge beacon. It's like, hey, we did it, we're running the show. Maybe this is after the rapture takes place, after the Christians are removed and they're saying like, all right, the rapture's happened, we're in charge, let's blow the dam. There's no intercessory prayer that's strong enough to stop us, let's go. Whatever it is, it's gonna be a huge announcement to the world that the New World Order is ready to go and that maybe that's the moment Satan comes into Obama and he's like alright the fit extensions in place the new the new race has been born let's flip the switch boom hive mind we don't know but it's very clear that they are pointing to this specific structure when it blows up it will be the birth of the new race that is all I got God bless you and we'll try to keep some more videos coming you're in my prayers What you're about to hear is a re-recorded prophetic utterance that was given to me in 2007 and 2008 before Barack Obama became the president. Behold, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. Behold, the great wall, which holds back the abundance of the rivers, shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it, says the Lord. For mighty is your enemy that is risen from within your own borders. Now behold, the abomination of desolation spoken about Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you, you are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen, have you not heard? Has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? For when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, they did bear children to them, and the same became mighty men. Has not the sea turned mighty? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes, and the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. And behold, the man of peace, Barack Hussein Obama, shall come forth from the sea, and with words of peace he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold, the fig tree puts forth its leaves, and suddenly the time is upon you. The travail begins, and it will not stop until the holy nation is brought forth.